All right, fam, we're getting a tour of a mine. It's actually featured on Ghost Adventures. And we're going in right now. What you got, Doug? It's an old silver, I think, gold mine. Look at the railing for the carts. This is a low area. Wow, it feels really nice down here. Okay, I am on a group tour. I'm gonna try to stay back a little bit so I don't interrupt the tour. I'm trying to hear little bits and pieces. This is cool. Goes Tiffany. I think there is AC in here. Wow. This is scary. Okay, this is why it feels so good down here. You can hear these mines for some of the miners, they would get like 140 degrees Fahrenheit. That's really hot. Now the way that they would do these mines, it would actually, it'd be a two person operation. There was no power tools involved. Usually be two people. One guy would have like a, like a drill and the other guy would hammer and they would make this hole. Then they would stick dynamite and it would only clear up about, I think it was like, a, like three feet. All of this was drilled by hand, little by little. And they put wood to stabilize it. If you easily get, claustrophobic. I wouldn't recommend going down here. Oh gosh. It does get smaller. This sucks for people that are kind of tall. Tiffany's not even that tall. She's ducking. Oh, it gets, it gets worse. I don't know if I want to go. This sucks. Do it for the vlog. Apple. Now, of course, the mine that we would have had here originally would have probably had about 20 to 30 miles of tunnel to its name. In Virginia City, we actually had about 750 miles of tunnel dug here by the 1870s. Now, another thing that you may have noticed, well, it's relatively cool in here. Well, why is that? I mean, I've heard on other tours it was temperatures of up to 130 degrees. Even I said it was 130 degrees. Well, the reason why it's cool in this section of the mine is we're shallow enough in the surface of the earth where heat from the sun can't radiate down that quickly to where we are and really heat the area and working temperatures from farther below raise back up to where we're standing. So it stays this nice cool 65 degrees all year round. However, as the miners were getting into those geothermal waters I mentioned in that area, they were in fact coming across temperatures of 130 degrees. Many of these miners when going to work would wear nothing more than their boots and loincloth cloth to cover themselves. And once they had gotten down to that depth prescribed by doctors can only work for about 15 minutes at a time in the high heat. After the 15 minute period, they'd have to stop, go higher up in the mine to a cooling room where they're given large amounts of cool water to drink. They'd sit there and rest as other miners would take their place for the next 15 minutes. And these miners would alternate back and forth like that for their entire eight hour shift. He'd hold the chiseled end right up against the rock and with a handheld hammer, he'd strike the very end of this tool, forcing it in, causing it to chip away a small piece of rock. He'd then give it a quarter of a turn, he'd strike it again, give it another quarter of a turn until the drill steel had made its length into the hole. He'd then remove the tool, flush out the chippings with a little bit of water, and of course place the explosive agents to blast the section of the tunnel out. So, of course, if the uh, with our lights out, well, this is it. This is the light oh, which wow. the miners had to work with for their eight-hour shift. Wow. That's pretty cool. I'd cry. So, <laughs> so, of course, with more miners in the section of the tunnel, there would be more candles, so it would be, of course, much brighter, and over time, your eyes do begin to adjust. So, of course, now I'm able to take my candle and begin to place it in the rock where I'll begin to chip and chisel away for my eight-hour shift. 8,000 people in Gold Hill, which is just right over the hill from the What's surface. What's it mean? Uh, Virginia City, of course, <laughs> having that. That's just not air conditioning. Oven this is coming from the surface. That's what the holes would look like. And I believe that those are like the explosives. That's where the term fire in the hole came from. I don't know if you knew that. Oh, this is, this is much better right here. Um, for methane gases yeah. that were before telephones that's how they would communicate and there's some of the signals right there that's some of the silver right there well as i said due to the moisture content this lower light blue gray color is a very low grade uh, the yellow is just more sulfur that comes along with it as I said in some cases it's a very dark black depending on the concentration um, again with more moisture if our mine wasn't as dry it'd be a lot more visible as I said, I just noticed looking through a couple of tourists, you know, phones that the lighting is a bit different because the cameras pick up more light so you can actually see it a little better in some cases. Now, since you are the last one out, there is a section of the really, really fine clays that hasn't dried out, so I'll be able to show you that on okay. camera. All right. So this isn't forced air? We do have a blower that does force the air in. Uh -huh. um, and we just let it, you know, slowly draft back out. Okay, so without this ventilation right here, you couldn't make it but what 20 feet you said 
Well, in some extreme cases, um, and of course, if you were able to get back, um, it depends on how much of the gas is built up. We're talking about carbon monoxide gas. Uh, yes. I've seen these little uh, stickers around town about not exploring the abandoned mines. Is that because of the carbon um, monoxide? Because of gases and getting back to this area, all of the mines we had were usually held up by timbers, which are now 100 plus years old. Uh -huh. And we do actually do maintenance to our tunnel and replace a couple every now and again. I can see right there. But yeah, a bunch of them are gone. So that's that's another reason why to stay out because you don't know when you're going to get trapped in a cave and you, know, you have a number that's pretty bad. Okay, don't want to get trapped in one of these guys. Now, there are some mines, especially in eastern Nevada, that are still open due to the lack of moisture farther east. They look like they were just dug out, you know, yesterday. So uh -huh. the timbers are well preserved. But, you know, you get sections like this right, Ooh, right there. The yeah. And that one, so these all have to eventually be replaced too. Oh boy. And if those give up, then uh. Yeah, I just don't think about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, really quickly, right around this corner, right here, is that clay I was talking about. Now, this isn't just a gob of Play Doh we shoved in the wall, that's the actual light blue color it comes. That's and again, that's with the moisture in it. And of course, if you wanted to, you can stick your finger in it and smear it back in the wall like a five year old. Oh, wow. So, let's look at the Play Doh. It legit is like white clay. So, welcome All back right. to the bright light of day. And Thank you. There's our portage on. Oh, oh, okay. Wow, look at that. That is legit porta potty. Because yep. that's how uh, they had to go to the bathroom. They'd be deep down in there and <laughs> you could sit by your friend and. Do some caca. I'm really glad I went on this tour because I learned a lot. Ventilation was really important to these miners. Yeah, there was quite a few of them that died because of the lack thereof. Not just here, but many other mines. I've seen a lot of abandoned mines. I've explored a lot of abandoned mines and I don't want to do that anymore. And you shouldn't either. Dude, the owner here, super cool guy. He told me the next time I come this way, to call him up that he'll let us come at nighttime and do an investigation like a paranormal type thing and that would definitely be worth bringing some gear i'm not really into ghost hunting gear if you notice when you watch my videos it's just pretty much me and a camera sometimes i might whip out the spirit box app but as far as that goes this place i mean you have to come with some ghost hunting gear because there's a lot of cool things that you can catch from what i was told so yeah let me know in the comments if you want us to maybe come and check this place out at nighttime alone. By the way, if you want to come in here and do the same tour that I did, it's about an hour long and it's loaded with a ton of information on Virginia City and the mining that took place here. In another video, I did show the tunnel system. It was a full scale tunnel system and I have no idea what that sound is in the background. Please forgive me, it sounds like a jet getting ready to take off, but it's probably not, maybe a blower or something. But there's so many mines underneath here i mean at one time this was a booming city that offered just about everything that a big city had to offer however in the 1930s things slowed down of course you know you had the great depression settle in gold and silver weren't being mined as much from what i hear virginia city at its peak was home to about 30,000 residents i don't think that's a whole lot in today's standard but there's definitely not 30,000 residents i mean from what you see there are some houses down there and yeah, there's there's not a whole lot here in Virginia City and most of the money that the town makes is from tourism like we're doing right now if it wasn't for tourism this place would not be as active as it is in fact it'd, it'd probably be a ghost town I think at one time it was considered a ghost town I'm not sure when they started opening it up for tourism but I mean this place is great if you want to see how things were back in the day you know the old Wild West this is it. I believe this was the American frontier, the prospecting days. This inspired Disney's frontier land, in my opinion. We're not far from the California state line, so it is possible. All right, fam, so we are at the local cemetery. Now, there's three cemeteries here. There's one for Freemasons, there's one for, I guess, the Odd Fellows is what they call them, or the Firemen Cemetery. And then, of course, there's a Catholic cemetery. But we found a cool lizard. Where's he at? Oh, wow. Wait, that's a big, 
big lizard. That's what I'm saying. They're different than the Florida lizards. Yeah, they are. He's just chilling. He's got a little walk. <laughs> He's sunbathing. You're really cute. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it cute? Oh, he is. That's so cool. Now, uh, how was your stay at the hotel last I night? I don't even talk about it. We stayed at one of the most haunted hotels, supposedly. It's called the Silver Queen. There's a couple haunted hotels. I, I kind of feel everything is haunted here in Virginia City, which is why I thank you if you did reach out to me and you were like, hey, Omar, go check out Virginia City. It's pretty awesome. It's super haunted. Okay, now I believe you. Now, in the middle of the night last night, and I did film ourselves sleeping with this camera, I was able to plug it in and it had no cap in how long I could record for. It literally recorded from night to daytime or till sunrise. Early in the morning, she wakes me up and she's complaining about like feeling this pressure on her leg as if somebody sat on her leg. And I, I've never heard her complain about that sleeping next to her. I mean, maybe maybe it was my leg on top of hers, but you, you, wasn't, you weren't on me. You were facing the door. I rolled over and cuddled you. <laughs> <laughs> and when I did, I was just, it, I was chilling, I was sleeping. And then all of a sudden I just felt like my whole hip that was facing upward, I wasn't laying on it. It was the one that was facing up. It just kept getting heavier and heavier and heavier. And I was also like, was sitting on your hip. Yeah. So I said it was my hip. Oh, I thought it was your leg. You said no. And then like all of a sudden, this is really gross, but I like got like throw up in my throat. Like my stomach just got really nauseous and I was like, and that's when I woke you up and I was like, babe, I want to go. And it was like 4:30 in the morning. <laughs> It's kind of crazy that I'm going to mention this because we were just in a mine yesterday. But after she tells me that story, I go back to sleep. I, I, I told her to pray. He was, was, yeah, he was like, was like just, just say just a prayer. Pray. And I'm like, that's all I've been doing. <laughs> I was tired. I went to bed around like, I don't know, maybe 3.30 or so. I was waiting for something to happen around 3 a.m. And I have my phone on the floor. There's a story about a, a woman staying in room 11 and she saw something go from under the bed and back. And... This is a woman that like nothing ever has bothered her. And when she saw that, it really freaked her out. It pulled out from under her blankets and then went right back in and she got up and was like dead. I kind of envisioned something being under the bed last night. I mean, this is st stuff that us as kids, you know, when we're kids, we, we think of like the boogeyman underneath our bed. So I grabbed my phone and I thought something was gonna grab my hand. And I just, our imaginations are wild. But anyways, early this morning when I woke up, I woke up to like choking on dirt. That's what it felt like. I, I felt like I was choking on dirt. I almost went to go spit dirt out of my mouth. And then I realized that I had just woken up and it wasn't until like I went back to sleep and I woke up. Then I got to thinking, perhaps there was a miner there at the hotel that was sharing a vision with me of his death. I shared it with Tiffany and- Yeah, well, cause I woke you up. Cause you were shaking. I was? Yeah, that's what, I was even out. I was so scared. I was even texting with Alicia in the middle of the night. I was like, he was just like shaking. So I woke you up and I was like, babe, are you okay? And you were like, yeah, I was choking on dirt. I was choking. And I was like, <laughs> so I sent her a text. I didn't think anything of it. He said he was choking on dirt. That's weird. But supposedly our room, there's a journal and it's for every room, but there's a journal downstairs that you can read at the Silver Queen. And we were reading it, and in that video will be coming soon on the Silver Queen doing like an overnight challenge. And she had read somebody that had stayed our room they woke up to the bed shaking it was a woman her husband was sound asleep and after she heard the shaking she goes to the bathroom and then the shower turns on all by itself she freaks out goes to the hallway and then finds at three o'clock in the morning a priest roaming the hallway which that's very very odd now the priest saw how fearful she was and scared and he offered to bless the room at three o'clock in the morning. Now, we didn't have our bed shaking in the middle of the night. The shower didn't turn on, but um, I haven't seen the footage of us sleeping yet. I did hear like shuffling. Oh, our door was opening too. That was yesterday during the day. Yeah. Why is the door open? You're welcome to come in here. <gasps> but anyways, here is the cemetery. I would come here at nighttime, but it closed at seven. They really frown upon trespassing here at nighttime. They got cameras everywhere. And they said you could spend about six months in jail. Fourth Bishop of Nevada? Cool. So the newest stone is 2006. I mean, that's still pretty, pretty current. I mean, maybe that's for the Freemasons though. There's more over the hill. Now we barely made it out of the cemetery, but check this out. Our day begins when yours ends. <laughs> no trespassing. We're tired of hiding bodies. <laughs> You're next. This
this could be you. One way, do not enter. <laughs> There's a cool little market right here. I wanna check it out. It's called Cemetery Cafe. Is that what it's called? <laughs> yes. So there's a little campsite that overlooks the cemetery. This is so funny, look at that. Coughing up. A little bit there for it. There's a cute little uh, store here, a little market store. Oh, people got four wheelers here? Man, I would love to go four wheeling here. I mean, I mean when it's not a million degrees outside. So there's a lot of bugs out here. Every five seconds or something. Splat. Stay off my windshield. We're really close to Oregon. In fact, so close that I'm seeing a lot of license plates that say Oregon. There was a time or two where we were a little scared, even with a half a tank of gas, because there was, no, I mean, there's still nothing. We're like the only car out here. This is nice, though. It's a good mix of trees and desert. Oh, there's a sand tornado. Oh, look, we're really close to a sand. What do they call them? Dirt devils? Why don't you go in there and play and like skip inside of it or something? Why don't you go in there and play and skip inside of it? Sure. <laughs> they got plenty to eat out there. This is the kind of land that aliens love. That's why there is a correlation between cows and aliens. You know, they always say that the aliens pick the cows up. Oh my god, I totally forgot about that. Yeah. Isn't this romantic? I'm about to get out of the car. Yeah, me too. I'm not kidding. Stop. Stop moving. What? Please stop moving the car. I, we're like 20 feet away. Stop moving the car. I'm gonna show you why she's freaking out here. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Look at this. So this is what 5,000 feet look like. Oh my gosh. All right, there's no guardrails. Don't wanna get too close. A couple cars just went by. Like, who owns all that land? Just curious, there are some cows down there too, but... Wow, this is gorgeous. I mean, you can see how much the landscape just changes. I mean, we were in the pure desert, and this is a good mix now. I mean, it's still kind of desert, I guess, but... The trees look a little bit different. I wonder if there's any alligators out here. Our earth is so beautiful. I'm so thankful to not only live in the United States of America, but live on this beautiful earth. Let's take care of our earth, okay? One thing that's really nice about this part of California, there's not a whole lot of litter out here. Okay, I know what those bugs are now that were flying out on the windshield. They're crickets. I think that's what it was. It looked like it. Just seen one up close right now. Do they have flying crickets? Look at Dunkin' Donuts. Stop. Right, it's right over there. You know what? As soon as we get back to, to where there's a Dunkin' Donuts, there's I'm, nothing out here. The biggest coffee ever. <laughs> this would be the worst place ever to get like a flat tire or something. Could you imagine? You know what this reminds me of? Huh? I keep picturing the little lizard, like from what's his name, Rio? No, that's a bird. Ringo. Ringo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just picture Devil. him like walking out in his little sheriff uniform. Okay, so I had to stop and share this with you. This is probably the craziest thing I've ever seen. It's absolutely beautiful. By the way, we're in Oregon right now and no cars around. I mean, we're in the middle of nowhere, but this looks like at one point was a ginormous lake, very similar to Lake Tahoe when I shared Lake Tahoe with you. I mean, you could see the landscape, the mountains, and then this area is just, I mean, it just looks like that could have been a lake at one point, like a big, big, big lake. I mean, it's just so flat. It still kind of looks like a lake, but no, that's all sand. Let me know here in the comments what you think. I'd be willing to put money on it that this was a lake a long time ago. Oh, wow, yeah, look, on the map, it does show water. Look at that. That's interesting. Oh my gosh, look, this was a lake recently. Summer, it's called oh. Summer Lake. What? It's gone. Look at that. The whole lake is gone. There's no lake there. That's all sand. Wow, I'm gonna take a picture of that. I've never seen anything like that. There's no water in that lake whatsoever. I was thinking maybe it was like something old from, you know, a thousand years ago or something, but that's 
pretty new that that completely dried out. If I'm not mistaken, these are like sea oats. I was just about to say, don't these grow by water? Yeah, I mean, and it is. Look, you could see how big this lake is. That is, it's like another, it's another Lake Tahoe. Here's a satellite map too, and you can see that's the sand right over there, and then that's water. That's really sad. They must be going through a horrible drought here. There is some fires going on. That's why it looks a little smoky over there. I know you can't even see the mountains. There's mountains behind Yeah, there. it's all smoky. This had to have been really pretty when there was water there. Like how long ago was water here? I mean, I'd have to say maybe within a year or so. Maybe it'll come back. Tiffany and I were walking down this path here and we came across this guy and he was just sleeping. And I guess we startled him and he got up and he was about to run. Oh, did you catch him sleeping? No, I got him walking back. And he was like, eh, they're cool. But he's still hanging out over there. I'm sorry if we scared you. She thought he was dead. Because he's like, <laughs> yeah, he was... there's so many people that were just walking by right here. And he didn't move and then we walked by and he's like, jumps up. I know. We're not gonna hurt you. Go back my night. We woke him up from his nap. I've never seen a deer sleeping before. That's a big deer. Hi. How are you doing? You're so cute. He's gonna find another place to sleep. <laughs> this is a pretty populated area too. There's like hotels here. You found a more hidden area. So we're in Bend, Oregon right now, and right by our Hampton Inn that we're staying in, is this really cool river. And it's pretty clear too. There's a bunch of people on it, like tubing. It's like a natural lazy river. And the water's really nice too. Look at this. This is so pretty. I wanna go on that lazy river. And the weather's so pleasant too. This is a beautiful area. Oh, this water is really clear. It's like a spring. Kind of reminds me of the springs back home in Florida. People just having a good old time out here too. Alright fam, so haven't really recorded a whole lot for the vlog today. However, I did film two videos and in one of those two videos had something bad happen. Just gonna have to wait and see what happens but we made it through it. Just because we go through things, it may seem like the end of the world at times, but just when that bad situation happens, just remember you're gonna get through it. I'm gonna go ahead and let you go before you leave though, give me a kiss.